So our curry is done. Let's serve that to a serving dish. This potato curry goes very well with white rice, idi appam, puttu, even appam, whole roti, and naan, even chapati. A perfect potato curry. Tasty and quick to make. This Sri Lankan potato curry is known as ala hodi, can be eaten with white rice, puttu, idiyapam, even pol roti or even naan and chapati. This is perfect curry to be, uh, to be uh, added to your lunch menu. So come I'll show you how to make the Sri Lankan potato curry. So the ingredients you need to make Sri Lankan potato curry are obviously potatoes that is 500 grams of potatoes i peeled it when i cut it into cubes and i put uh, added water to prevent it from becoming black then you need some sri lankan cinnamon half a teaspoon of fenugreek few cloves about one teaspoon of black pepper powder one teaspoon of lime juice salt one large onion, I've sliced it, a few curry leaves, pandan leaves or rampe, about three to four green chilies, I've sliced it in half. There is one teaspoon of turmeric powder, half a teaspoon of garlic powder. If you have fresh garlic, use about one teaspoon of finely chopped fresh garlic, but I'm using garlic powder, so there's half a teaspoon of garlic powder. This is half a teaspoon of red chilli powder, one and a half teaspoons of Sri Lankan unroasted curry powder. In the iCard, I have showed you how to make Sri Lankan unroasted curry powder. Check that recipe out. So there is one and a half teaspoons of unroasted curry powder. Then you need coconut milk. So the first step is to make about 500 milliliters of water and two tablespoons of coconut milk and you cook the potato in that. Later, once the potato is cooked, we add another thick cup of coconut milk. That I'll show you as we're going on. So these are the basic ingredients you need to make the potato curry, Sri Lankan alahodi. So, to a saucepan, add the onions, the curry leaves, The pandan leaves, the green chilies, the cinnamon, fenugreek, and cloves, turmeric powder, unroasted Sri Lankan curry powder, garlic powder, and red chilli powder. All that goes in. One teaspoon of black pepper powder. Now let's add our potatoes. Now it's time to add the coconut milk. So this is the second extra coconut milk that you need. So I'm using coconut milk powder. So to about two tablespoons of coconut milk powder. Let's add 500 milliliters of water, about 2 cups of water, 500 milliliters. Dissolve it. Now add the coconut milk to the potatoes. Mix everything. Now let's add salt. Shorts. 
now just one tablespoon of coconut oil mix everything now it's time to switch on the stove so place the lid and cook this on a medium flame about till the potatoes are well cooked so it's been 20 minutes and our potatoes have been cooking for 20 minutes let's just see if it's yes the potato is cooked yeah the potatoes are cooked now let's add our final cup of coconut milk the thick coconut milk the first extract as they call it now to make the first extract we need about one cup of water 250 milliliters to that add four tablespoons of coconut milk powder mix this make sure there are no lumps at this stage switch off the stove and add the thick coconut milk one cup So there is one teaspoon of freshly squeezed lime juice. Now add that as well. Mix it in. Our Sri Lankan potato curry, ala curry is done. So our curry is done. Let's serve that to a serving dish. This potato curry goes very well with white rice, idi appam, put, even appam, pol roti, and naan, even chapati. A perfect potato curry, tasty and quick to make. This Sri Lankan potato curry also known as ala curry is very easy to make it's pretty much a one pot meal so you put all the ingredients along with the coconut milk and then place it on the stove it's very easy 15 to 20 minutes maximum and this goes very well with rice uh, chapati naan string hoppers that is idiapam uh, pittu or puttu and appam that's um, hoppers as well and this is vegetarian friendly and vegan friendly as well. Uh, if you can't find the Sri Lankan unroasted curry powder, you can use the normal curry powder that you get in any uh, supermarkets in the UK or Australia or anything like that. But if you can get a hold of Sri Lankan unroasted curry powder from an Indian grocery store or a Sri Lankan grocery store, that will give that authentic taste. So I hope you guys will try this recipe out. And if you do, please do let me know how you liked it in the comment section. So until I see you guys next time with yet another recipe, this is your week signing off.